Hi, everybody. Welcome back to EA Sports. I'm James Sabalski. American Hockey League action is on the docket tonight. Opening face-off is just seconds away. The Wolves take possession here on the opening draw, and we are underway. Iowa's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Quick feed to Lambus. Sends the pass over. Handles the puck. Oh, wow, what an incredible save! I don't even know how he got to that. That's fierce athleticism to be able to get back to the net and make that save, James. That was amazing! Lots of time left in this period. The game is still scoreless. Oh, what a hit! He sacrificed his body to make the play! You want to send a message to your opponent early in the game, and that early delivery of a bone-crushing hit, that does just that. Works it across to shore. Gaining momentum up along the side. Here's a shot! Standing tall with the save! Heads deep inside the offensive zone. Comes up with the stop. And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. Walkers won the draw, and they're on the attack. Oh, much respect as he blocks that one. And that's a smart heads-up play by Walker. Iowa's going on the attack as they gain the zone. Sends it into the offensive zone. Moves it to Rasta. Look at this down the right wing. They're on the attack. Can't hang on after that hit. Pushes it across to Rodega. What a blocker save by Martin. Hammers him into the boards. Good fight for the puck along the boards. Here's a short pass to Rodega. Takes possession. The Wolves will play it from the defensive zone. Iowa's got the puck along the wall. Hangs on to the puck after taking a hit. Oh, and a board rattling hit right there. Now well, certainly was lined up. Body on body, weight distributed right in there. Dishes it to Merrick. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Puts it off the outside of the frame. More than half the period left to play. We're still scoreless. And off the draw, they'll take possession. Now a quick pass to Kadic. And he takes the dish. And a great save! There's the whistle. We'll get a face-off after the goalie covers up. Centers get set as they're ready to drop the puck again. Pankier's won the face-off. And he slides it quickly to spot check. And he takes the feed. Can't get it to go. Passes the puck over to Pavlichev. Shot! And he turned that one aside. Takes a hit. He goes down to the ice and coughs up the puck. Tries to feed it over to Suzuki. Steps inside. Chicago's got the puck against the boards. Takes a shot. Stops that one. And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. More than half the period has expired. Still scoreless in this one. Off the draw, they take possession. The Wolves gain possession along the wall.
Chicago's got up by one in the back half of period number one, and they're really starting to assert themselves now here, Cheryl. You said it. They've been assertive, and they've been dominant in terms of shot share here, James. When they see an opening, they are taking it, and their opponent really doesn't know what to do. And now he moves it quickly to Suzuki. Slides the puck across to Brindamore. Clark's got it across the line. Shot! Big blocker stopped by Martin. What cover! Incredible reflexes on the glove saved by Martin. Man, James, he shows incredible quickness right there. He makes one and then the second save. Centers glide into the dots. We're ready to get things back going again. Haynes won the faceoff, and now let's see what they can do. On the attack along the boards, and that caroms off a body in traffic. And it's kicked away. Trousled off the puck. Chicago's got it in their own zone. Slides it back to the blue line. And that goes off the face of the goaltender. We'll get a faceoff after the puck stays covered up. Face off coming up here. They were buzzing moments ago. Yeah, they really were, and it's a tough spot for the goaltender. Everyone else can change, but he can't. He's got to outbattle his opponent now. And now it's grabbed by Stillman. Nice zone entry on the left side. Iowa's got possession of the puck. Moves the puck along the half wall. Takes a lot, but still hangs on. And that goes off course off a of body. Feeds it over. Clutch save! Dishes it off! Quick pass to Benoit. Can't get it to go. Into the offensive zone. Fires it on net. There's a stop with the blocker by Martin. And that's just out of reach. No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. Slides the pass over to Novak. Quick pass across to Jost. Puck picked up in the open ice. And some good footwork to kick it away. Handles the pass at center. Loses the coverage there. The Wolves have it behind the net. Great poke by Jost. Can't stay on his feet after that hit. And that's intercepted by Novak. First 20 minutes of play is in the books. Both teams get a chance to refresh and reset. We'll be back with second period action in no time. Period number two set to go here. Officials moments away from dropping the puck. Well, Cheryl, how do you sum this one up for the first 20 minutes? Iowa's not going to want to change much from that opening frame, James. They got a little bit unlucky there, and their opponent got opportunistic as they're now trailing by one. If they can continue to manage the puck, own possession time, and convert, they'll find their way back in. Handles the pass. Block the save, and he's showing up big time tonight. Again, the denial by the goaltender. And that's blocked away. Grabbed along the board by Suzuki. My goodness, look at this. The pressure is really starting to cook. Iowa's got it in the neutral zone. Here we go. Look at this. They're really applying the skis down in the offensive end. And they'll end all that pressure as they clear the zone. Takes the feed. Gets a club on it. Wow, what a stop by Walston. The well, goaltenders are the last line of defense for a reason. This time, he bails his team out. Big time stop there. Does a great job with some great pushes to get to the top of his crease and make the save from a high danger area. And he's knocked off the puck there. Drives to the sweet spot. Moves it quickly over to Slavin. Oh, and I think that goes off the mask and it stays out and play continues. Nearing the midway mark of the period. 1-0 is where we sit at this point. 
Slavin's won the draw here in the offensive zone. Shuts him down. Drills him. And now he angles it across to Merrick. Oh, solid save by Martin. Great positioning by the goaltender to redirect it to the corner, getting it out of danger. And it's a quick pass to Aurora. Scores! They tied it up! And we are back to even! Well, working hard, sticking to the game plan with good habits, and they're back to evens. On a deflected shot, everyone always talks about the stick positioning. How about the timing to get to the slot area as well? And the ability to just tap it down and redirect it. Centers are lined up and we are ready to resume. Pavlicek's won the draw. Let's see what they can do with possession. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Let's see what the officials are calling. Sichon is off to the sit in for cross checking. the zone. The Wild have taken possession along the wall. Angles it over to Slavin. Big time stop. Martin's able to get to position and negate that dangerous slot shot. Quick feed to Sweeney. Denies him on the slaughter. Taken along the wall by Slavin. Denies him in close. As a goaltender, you have to be able to read and anticipate the play. He does it perfectly and is able to negate the shot. Chicago's got the puck against the half wall. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. Strong use of the body to force the puck loose. Scores! The go-ahead goal and a big one at that. Well, they really take advantage of the extra attacker here, James. I love that there is a double threat on this power play. They can shoot, they can move the puck, which makes their opponent vulnerable. Great conversion. in the bench and the coaching staff talking to the team about continuing to push, keep the pedal to the metal here. While you have your opponent down, you got to attack. The Wolves look to start the transition game. And they'll dump it in. Iowa's got the puck along the wall. Robidaw's been a workhorse tonight, James, and there's just another example of it. And the entire bench knows that they're invigorated by it. I mean, he's on his way down, he's stumbling, and he manages to find the puck and get a shot on net. That's tenacity at its best. More than half the frame has been played here. The Wolves are hanging on to this one goal lead. They'd love to add another. Chicago's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. Taken by Lambus. Oh, textbook hook check to turn that over. Gets the puck in deep. Iowa's got it in their own zone. Chicago's got the puck. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Along the half wall with the puck. Stopped by the goaltender. He got a little piece of that one. In front and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. Centers glide into the dot as a face-off ready to resume play. Iowa's won the face-off deep in their own end. Grabs the puck in the defensive zone. Novak's carrying it ahead. Great use of the twig as he pokes that one away. And that banks off a stick. Face-off coming up as the puck goes up and over the glass. Taking it from his own end. Into the middle of the neutral zone. Oh, he hammered him on the play. Oh, this is just.
just a thunderous hit. Talk about physical engagement. He got all of them, James. Ooh, that was big time. He grabs the puck here at the point. And the puck clears the zone. They'll be forced to leave as well. Now into the offensive zone from the right side. And the lane's clogged up blocking that. Now a quick pass to Smith. Here's a chance in front. Takes a hit but still hangs on to the puck. And that goes off a stick. When you're hounding pucks and applying this type of pressure, it usually results in two things, a penalty or a goal. Oh, and a misfire as that goes right out of the zone. And he coughs it up with the pass. Slides it across. And they continue to fight for that puck along the wall. And the puck's not loose. Receives the pass. Too many bodies in the way. Suzuki's the victim of a slash, and the official caught that. We got a penalty coming up. And the officials will pass the sentence here. Anytime you're in the dying minutes of a period, you have to maintain your focus, especially when you're shorthanded. It's all about creating some momentum and killing the penalty. I won't be surprised to see the 1-3-1 one, one again. They had success on it earlier, James. And listen, I love this. I coach this with my team because I love the bumper spot. And I love the net front player. You're taking away the eyes of the goaltender, but he can also pop out below the goal line and present as an option. So multiple variations that can strike. Stop by the goaltender. Reaction time is so critical for goaltenders because the way the players shoot in this game today, man, it is so tough to stop. So this one, instincts. What goes up makes the save. Power play set to roll on as the centers get ready for the faceoff. The frozen disc gets dropped, and we are back underway here. And they manage to clear it. Sent into the offensive zone. Moves it to Montgomery. The Wolves move the puck in the defensive zone. Chicago's on the attack. And that's snapped away in the defensive end by Jones. And the puck clears the zone. Montgomery's got the puck in his own zone. Looks to pass it to Sweeney. Chicago's got the puck against the boards. Here's a chance to get it out of their own end. And that's one way to help kill off this penalty as they get the puck out, Cheryl. Well, when you're on the PK unit, you have to be able to anticipate. They do just that. They're able to retrieve the puck and fire it down the ice. Makes no mistake on the clear, James. Hard and heavy on the stick. And that concludes the second period of play. Still one more period of regulation time. We'll see what happens in the third next. Who's ready for some more hockey? Welcome back to EA Sports, Sabalski Pounder. And here we go with period number three, moments away. All right, buckle up, everybody. Period number three is now underway. Well, Pounder, we've played more than 40 minutes now in this one. How do you view things? Iowa's generating a lot of offensive scoring chances here, James, but they can't seem to solve the goaltender. Listen, this is when you can't get frustrated. You have to stick with the game plan, continue to move the puck with motion. Scores! And the scratching and clawing has paid off as we are back to even. Well, we're back to even, James. I really like their game. I mean, when you're pushing and you're trying to find a way to get ahead and on top, you have to trust the process. That's exactly what they've done, and they've been rewarded for it. Still plenty of time left in this frame. It's all tied up. Iowa's got possession of the puck after that neutral zone faceoff. Can't hang on to the puck after the play. Here's a short pass to Smith. Scooped up along the wall by Brindamore. And he's ridden off the puck. Across the line and on the attack. And that shot gets caught in traffic. Quick pass to Brindamore. hit there. Wow, uh, that was incredible. Everyone is on their feet. Man, he get nailed. And the puck's kicked free. Reads it perfectly in the defensive end. Iowa's got it along the wall. Oh, what a great save by Martin. 
Gets it over to Slavin. And he slides it quickly to Sweeney. The Wolves play it along the boards. Takes the feed at the point. Hammers it on net. Oh, what a glove save there. He read that perfectly. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. We are all tied up in this one. Iowa's got possession here in their own end. Moves it quickly over to Milne. Reaches out and uses the stick. Passes it over. That's blocked by Martin. Goaltender covers it up and we'll get a reset here. And we're moments away from getting back underway here with the puck drop. Slavin's won the draw here in the defensive zone. Scrum along the boards, they battle for the puck. Picked up along the wall by Montgomery. Carrying the puck deep inside his own end. We got a delayed penalty coming up. That trip right in front of the official's eyes. Can't get away with that. Nebraska's called for tripping. He's off to the box. to try to kill off this penalty. They win the faceoff here in their own end and take possession. And the puck leaves the zone. Moves it over to Suzuki. Quick feed to Smith. Oh, they telegraph the pass and he picks it off. Merritt's gain the line and on the attack. We got to stop it as the puck sails over the glass. Just moments away from the resumption of this power play. They're ready to drop the puck here for this faceoff. Walker's won the faceoff here in the offensive zone. Takes a couple of knocks and loses control. Grabs control of it at the point. Here's the shot. The Wolves carry it along the wall. Raska is almost out of the box. Shore side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. Picked up along the boards by Jones. Iowa's penalty killers deserve a pat on the back as we are still tied. Specialty teams are so huge in any game, James, especially when it's tied. You don't want to fall behind and have discipline really be a factor in the game. And now he moves it to Jones. And it's a quick pass to Toborowski. And just like that comes up with the puck. Great little flick of the stick. They've got numbers here. Great stop by Wilson. You know the goalie's dialed in when he redirects the puck to the corner. And he makes the save. Moves it to Toborowski. Across the line. Chicago's gained possession along the boards. Takes the bank pass feed. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Gets the full use of his stick on the boat check. Chicago sliding the puck behind the net. Denied that one. Let's it fly. Possession sneaking in off the wing. Spotchek swooping in on the attack. Moves it to the middle. Oh, and he couldn't connect on the play. Iowa's 
got the puck along the boards. Here's a chance! Big time stop! Martin's got it and will hang on for the whistle. Well, he's been so dialed in all game, playing confident, controlled in the crease. Both centers ready to take the draw here coming up. Chicago's won the defensive zone draw. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. Looking for space inside the D zone. Into the offensive end now. The Wild have it in their own zone. Puts it on that. Martin's been outstanding tonight, James. I mean, he's made the saves he's had to and really given his team an opportunity to win. You can't ask for more than that. A big face-off here inside the offensive end. The Wolves start with the puck in their own end. Montgomery's crossed the line and is on the attack now. The Wild have gained control of the puck along the wall. And now he moves it quickly to Sealy. From a slot wrist shot, and that doesn't reach the net. Here's a short pass to Bakier. Thought here, James, with the pressure coming in on him, he just releases the puck quick and he misses wide. Can't keep a hold of it. And now he passes it to Nadeau. And he slides it quickly to Suzuki. Great pressure with the stick. Takes it off, but he's still got the puck. Oh, he just got enough of that to keep it out. Just a fantastic save through traffic here, James. And this is why goaltenders practice all the time, tracking and with players net front. You gotta be able to find the puck at a moment's opportunity. And he finds it and makes the save. Dumps it in. The Wild have position along the boards. Slides it up ahead from the right wing. Shot, and he gets in front of that. We got a whistle as the puck's frozen. A critical draw here. Pavlicek's won the draw deep in the defensive zone. Franco's got it along the wing. Easily turned away by the goalie's glove. And now it's to Aurora. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. The Wolves have it from their own end. Now a quick pass to Franco. Great heads up play in the neutral zone by Shore. Oh, what a stop there with time winding down. Well, there's the horn, and we are still evened up here in this one. That means a little bonus hockey. Overtime is coming up in moments. Who'll be the hero? Will there be a zero? Overtime set to go. Anticipation ramping up in this barn. You can just feel it right now. Moment of truth for both sides. Sudden death over time. Let's get it on. Chicago's got a hold of it along the wall. Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. This is a face-off. They'll definitely want to win here inside the offensive zone. And they win the offensive zone face-off. Now let's see if they can capitalize. There's the whistle as the goalie hangs on. A big draw looming here in the offensive zone. Iowa's going to start with the puck in their own end. Crotty's lugging the puck. Here they come on the attack. Takes the shot with the stop. Crotty's got control of the puck in the corner. That's some smart heads up defensive play by Smith. For the win! And he denies him with a monstrous save here in overtime! Teams are ready for the draw. The line's been about to drop the puck. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Seeley swinging the puck through center ice. They've got some momentum here. Sends it over. Locks it down in front. A great core strength to hang onto the puck after that. We got a delayed penalty coming up here as the ref's hand goes up in the air. Well, the coach didn't feel this was warranted. It wasn't egregious enough during overtime to call it, but it is a penalty. This is 
an urgent kill. Iowa's got a four on three power play and time is clearly on their side. Well, this could be it, James. An overtime power play opportunity to get the W for your team. Who's it going to be? They get it out of the defensive end. Oh, he'll feel that one. Moving into the attacking zone. Quick shot. And the play on as that goes off the inside of the post. I like the habits and the shot selection right there, James. They've got a two-on-one. And they're on the attack. Fantastic read to break up the play. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. Oh, and a big sigh of relief there as they get the puck out. Yeah, late in the game, you want to make sure that you protect the house. You protect the foundation, which is your own zone. So any way you can get it over the blue line is a good way. The Wolves have possession shorthanded. The Wild have gained possession off the wall. Great heads up play with the stick by Fensor. Quick pass to Ryan. Trying to get the puck out of harm's way. Kept in at the line. Great heads up play, and the power play continues. Yeah, and frustrating for the PK unit. You get that puck on your stick. You got to be hard and heavy on it. Quick release and find the open ice to get the clear, James. That's unacceptable. Here's a shot, and one last save. There's the horn, and overtime solves absolutely nothing. So we go to the shootout in moments. Well, here we go. The moment of truth for both sides here. Overtime solves nothing. We go to the shootout. Stops it. This might be turning into a save out instead of a shootout. Yeah, I mean, this is 1v1 against the goaltender, and uh, he's challenging at the top of his crease, but most importantly, he's tracking and anticipating. Oh! What a shot! His head was at the whole way, James. He was waiting for daylight. He saw it, he took it. Trailing by one. An opportunity to try to get back into this shootout. And he says, uh-uh on -uh, that play. Yeah, in the shootout, he's confident and composed. You don't see him moving around in his crease. Just makes himself as big as possible. Looks really efficient. Shots him down. What a save. Huge save. You can tell that he wanted that one. Yeah.